It's time to think about some year-end tax planning moves. And here to talk with me about this is Jay O, author of Maximize Your Medicare. Jay, welcome. Thanks for having me, Bob. So sometimes people, when they think about year-end tax planning, may not be thinking about health insurance. Is that correct? Yes, that's absolutely right, Bob. The reality is that the Affordable Care Act and Medicare both have changing premiums, different premiums based on a person's taxable income. It's the year end. People are going to be able to see, understand what their year end distributions are, for example, from a mutual fund that they may have. The issue is that if that has a, ta if that creates a taxable event, that people gloss over it because they think it's a different topic. The reality is, however, is that the advanced premium tax credit is very much tied into your taxable income, which does affect your health insurance premium that you owe even this year in 2021, because there is a reconciliation process that occurs after you receive your distributions. Mm -hmm. The same thing can be said for Medicare, where the tax has a different name called IRMA, and that is adjusted based on five different tiers of taxable income from two years ago, which can affect both your Part B premium as well as your Part D premium. These things go uncovered until it's too late. So some ad advanced planning would be a good, very good suggestion for many. Right. So many folks don't necessarily keep track of maybe their dividends or interest income. They don't receive a, a notice of 1099 until uh, next year. Um, any thoughts about what those folks should be doing as they think about the impact that dividends and interest income might also have on um, ACA uh, premiums or, or, um, or IRMA? It is very, very complicated. You are absolutely right, Bob, is that it's a good idea throughout the year to have an idea on in terms of what dividends have been paid, et cetera, because those do change your tax bracket for many. And in addition to that, it does change the way that an investment portfolio or their overall strategy can be constructed, meaning the returns that create these events need to be not taxable if at all possible. Now, of course, there are limits to that because a certain persons don't have the, that type of flexibility, but it certainly needs to be a consideration because the difference in premiums on health insurance, whether that be Medicare or that under the Affordable Care Act, are very large. And to be able to get that return back in financial markets is subject to the randomness of financial markets. Right. And then for folks who may have uh, have realized capital gains, uh, a strategy of taking capital losses to offset that gains could be one way perhaps to uh, to reduce the impact of IRMA, on, for instance. Yeah, absolutely right, Bob. And so again, you can go with your tax accountant, for example. You can go through, if, for example, a person have brokerage accounts, they can find and seek those types of opportunities to try to lower their taxable income so that you don't have this unintended ripple effect. Yeah. So we've covered lots of ground here. Anything that we missed or anything that bears repeating? <laughs> I think that's enough for today. <laughs> well, Jay, I want to thank you as always for sharing your knowledge and wisdom with our readers and viewers. It's, uh, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you for having me again.